Has um, Awala gotten back to us? No. Where did Wait. they leave that message? On TikTok. On TikTok. Oh. And I messaged them. Awala, if you're listening. I haven't heard back. But I did buy my own. If you guys saw the last podcast, I got my own. And Matt is looking one? at it, what? judging. What are right? you? Like a PA? Like on set? Like, <laughs> like a techie? Matt, Oh, we're really gonna compare. Matt, yours our looks water like bottles. a South Park character. <laughs> yeah, my brain looks like a penguin. <laughs> this is the only one that's a solid color, and I wanted a solid color. I like the white. Well, I liked the black, and then Matt made fun of me. And He's then making I... fun of me right now. Yeah. It's just I don't I know. Just life is too short. Bring a bunch of color into it. You know? I... Well, life too short <laughs> is a color. Life's too short to hate your water bottle. You're and I ableist. Really like mine. What about people who are colorblind? You yeah, that's that's so funny. You just said ableist. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Because I, goog I googled ableist this morning. Why? Because you well, didn't know what it meant. I yeah, did. I, I, like, I wanted to remind myself. <laughs> he thought he was looking up the AMC A list, so and he's like, "What is that?" <laughs> well, uh, because you know, Maddie Healy made that like ableist joke and was like uh, tweeting at uh, Lucy Dacus. Is that how you yes. say her last name? And I Wait, forgot. What was that joke? He goes, um, uh. I was trying to talk to Lucy Dacus and let her know that I want to start a new band called oh. Girl R Word. R Word. Yeah. Um, but I don't hear from her that often. And I, she quote retweeted it I, and said, I don't hear from you at or you don't hear from me at yeah. all. Yeah. Wait, why was that ableist? Because of because uh, it was girl R Word. R Word. As in boy genius, but the opposite of that. I yeah, it's, I so understand. it's like a slur to say that. So it's just ableist to just use that word, I guess. Because there's disabled people, ableists. Got it. Yeah. So that's just funny. And I was just trying to remind Aaron myself what the word. got it. But her face is, it. don't get it. <laughs> uh, there was also Obama posted his like. So if you just say, like, if I say the word deaf, I'm being ableist. No, no. If you're, it, you're being ableist, if you are like using slur words, like the R word, okay. or being negative toward Okay. Disabled people. Yeah. But I, I don't, not sticking up for him. I think he just made a really bad joke. Yeah, I think but so But I don't too. think he was saying it in a way that was like ableist. ableist. I, I think it's, yeah, okay. these yes. terms are very I, I <laughs> fluid. Bad. I'm not like. No, it's awful. <laughs> Welcome I mean, back I saw to hot like, water. Just, I saw the tweet and was like, <laughs> boy, what are you doing? Oh, that'd yes. be fun. Oh my gosh, we should do an episode where we bring up like old celebrity scandals from like the 2000s. Except for this one happened in 2023. <laughs> no, like old ones. Like, no, old I know, ones. I know, I know. Yeah. Wait, uh, do any come to mind? That Oh, so many. Yeah. Just like, I mean, I'd have to research it but i'm sure there's been so many since like the 2000s mm -hmm. like yeah there's the... like the thing michael jackson did oh Wait. yeah that. oh that mm -hmm. scandal the baby no no his whole the baby <laughs> i mean no. that is a good scandal that's that a scandal that was like a about. crazy thing i uh, know i know it was just do crazy. you think the baby one was like that bad it's pretty nuts, dude. I thought it was like kind of risky. Yeah, yeah. that's how but I like, feel. I'm like, I get why people are upset, but I'm also not a mother, so I feel like a lot of things I don't understand that are. But I also think it's okay to not be a mother and have an opinion about. I know, but I think it's just stuff. like, I, if I was a mother, I might have a different opinion. I sure. guess is what I'm trying to say. But I, I mean, I saw it when I was so little. I was like, what's the problem? <laughs> He's just holding yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But, well, he was holding it over a balcony. Well, I know that. But but he, he, I probably he would too if I had a screaming baby <laughs> in my apartment. <laughs> Just out of a plane window. <laughs> Stop screaming! Whoa! Justice for Michael. Okay, Aaron. Starting off with a lot of heat today. Are we yeah. doing Am I the Asshole right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We could definitely do, I think, that, right? Like a scandal from like... Celebrity scandals? Yeah. Just like old Celebrity ones. scandals is really what good. What if you guys commented below any celebrity yes. scandals that you think that we would have really bad takes on? Or and just... there's like so many that we don't know of, I feel like. Sure. Because like I'll see some on Reddit here and there and I'm like, oh, I never and knew that happened. Okay with all of them there's there, i don't no problem with this one no problem did with this oj one. do it definitely not. not what we're not talking about oj on this podcast <laughs> okay but like what determines like a scandal in a crime yeah that's what i'm saying that's <laughs> a different <laughs> a scandal would be like like okay sometimes they were, they're intertwined if they were in court not a scandal uh correct okay Yes, so like, that will be like a, our criteria. Or but like, like I think about like when Madonna and Britney Spears kissed at the VMAs. That's not a, that's a stunt. <laughs> that's not a scandal. Uh, okay, well, it's it's a scandal, scandal if you're a Republican. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was. Or like when Janet Jackson popped whole thing. out. Yeah, yeah, like that, like th stuff like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Away. Oh my gosh, yeah. I think we. Did could you guys see that up... when it was on TV? I yes. walked. Yes. I, I walked out of the room. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I missed it. And then they were like, okay, look at this. I, 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 I'm like, like, I'm not looking at it. <laughs> no, I was like eight. I was just like, oh no, I, I missed it. I remember I, I missed that one. How uh, excited are you guys for Usher to be performing the Super Bowl? Uh, <sighs> Really? He's got like it's a couple be so songs. No, well, if, no, I'm, I, if I'm ableist, you're racist. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I mean, I love Usher. Oh I love god. Confessions Part Two or that that whole album. Part one's good too, but whatever. Yeah, Confessions the is great. Just confessions. Climax. <laughs> you know that song? That's your is favorite your Usher song? song is so good. Wow. Do you know that song? Yeah, it's, I yeah. doubt he's gonna perform Climax. It. Oh, I hope he does. I'm so excited. The if harmonies he, are. If he, Usher at the Super Bowl will make me climax. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> it makes and that's Mike song... uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time we you've climaxed? <laughs> yeah, Mike, let's talk about it. Uh, like when I read a really good book and reached the climax of the story. Mm, yeah. I read Death of a Salesman. How do you think what'd you think? It's pretty good. I would love to see it perform. Is it Lily Loman? Is that his name? Smut. No. And then you'll actually climb yeah, back. Read? <laughs> Matt read the, the hockey one. Yeah, I read, I read some hockey smut. It was... That book is always... Like, it was tea. insane. You would literally was have called, to like, get up... called, like, Slap Shot? Or like... <laughs> no, but I think they have one that's like that. But mine was called Icebreaker. Ugh, it's go on. Somebody ca- it's so terrible, but like, do they have sex on a Zamboni machine? <laughs> I wish they did. I used to want to drive a Zamboni I so need bad. To. Can we do that? Yeah. Can you sign up for like yes, a Zamboni ride? It's like six weeks rides? of classes. I've looked it up. There's like oh, a group on for like go Zam- for six weeks. <laughs> I just want like, like six call, minutes. Can someone call like a, a person at can, the King Stadium or whatever? Can we go ice skating. Yeah, I love ice skating. After this, <laughs> after this, wait. I feel like we're, what getting... were we just talking about? Icebreaker. The, the book. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, like, like, if you thought that, uh, what book did Colin Verity. Hoover? Verity, Verity, which I don't think I'll ever recover from knowing the things you did with that. But this book, well, like the things he did with you, that. Let's move on. <laughs> Go on. What did he do? <laughs> Let's just say the pages probably got a little sticky. Ew, <laughs> no. We're moving on. Whoa. We're moving on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Literally, come on. Whoa. Whoa. A real page I'm not, turner. Okay, I'm not the come only on, person on, out here getting turned on by Colleen Hoover. No, I'm saying if for, for whatever reason that book turned you on like Icebreaker, you will literally be like, oh my God. You're just going to be horned up the whole time. What does the cover of the book look like? I so it's, terrible. Like it's, so car- it's like a cartoon it's like, of a guy on like a hockey ring. It's always at the front of yes. Barnes and Noble when I go yes. in. Yes. It's like a it's oh, like a young. Is that where you've seen it? Is yes. everyone talking about this book? <laughs> yes. So so many people. We read a book for a book club and oh you're gonna die. Oh God. It's no, this the, looks like it was written by AI. Like this is <laughs> this is one of those things yes. like people will just upload as an ebook onto yeah. uh Amazon or whatever. But yeah. Aaron, we were talking. Aaron was talking about how like crazy smutty it is on our podcast, and someone commented, "It's like a series of books." And she was like, "It gets so crazy. There's a there's like a scene where there's like two P and V in an A." <laughs> we're like, "Yeah, what? wait, there's literally is, a wait, scene is, are in- they high schoolers? No, they're in college." But it, okay, then why is okay? Yeah, <laughs> uh, sorry, University it looks like a high. Of- I forget what it, Meadow Hills or something like okay. that. I don't oh, even like remember. Place. I kind of want to read it now. No, it, like there's literally a scene of her like fingering herself. Like it's crazy. That's like, go on. Is, it, is yeah. it written by a man or a woman? A lady. Hmm. Men don't what. write good books. Okay. Well, that's not true. We've read a couple. But, uh, whatever. You ever heard of What's... the Bible? <laughs> ever heard of? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm reading. Well, we a don't great know who right wrote now. that. <laughs> what was the book, Aaron? We were joking about like dropping in front of Matt, being like, "Oh yeah, I only have ten pages left." <laughs> Oh, um, Infinite Jest. <laughs> yeah. He just brought that up yesterday, too. That's why Matt genuinely asked. He goes, have you read Infinite Jest? Like, genuine as a genuine question. As well, when I said I read it, he was like, I couldn't even read it. <laughs> there's no like, way. How? Honestly, there's no way you would read that book. <laughs> It'd be no so funny if we casually drop it. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, I, almost done with it. Uh, the bookmarks I on, like, could, the last I, page. It's a, it's a, that's a hard book to read. I, yeah, I would not interested. If you Challenge need a book accepted. that has, like, a book to come go, along with it to explain it. it to you, like, I'm just not interested. Yeah. I, I also, like, I. if there's no sex, I think there is. Oh, really? In Infinite Jest, but not like. Good well, then sex. I don't want it. In bad sex. No, well, just like good smut, he you know. Ha- he entered her like Co- I bet it's coven. In think- this book, they keep. Call- oh my god, what do they call? <laughs> they call. Oh my god, it's so funny. They call like the vagina. Like it- he touched her folds. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, <laughs> folds. <laughs> yeah. Aaron. It's 
Wait, you said there's man. two P and a V situations? No, it's in a different, a different book in this series, apparently. Oh, okay. Someone was like, you I'm telling you, though, the book Two P's and a V? In an A. In, in an, an A? a in an A. Two V's and a V. It's wild. So three P's total. I, I, it's also I like, think. I feel like in a lot of the books we read, like, the sex doesn't... Ha- you gotta, like read like 200 pages and then yeah. it's like a big it's like heavy thing this scene. one's like 50 pages in i was like whoa is this part of book club no, no. Okay. just aaron's sick fantasy <laughs> yeah <laughs> come See, club. I, okay the come club the come god so we don't think usher is going to perform climax of the super bowl <laughs> i doubt it okay oh my god it's gonna be yes yes so he will good. He will. You think? W- yes, of course. I, think, no I, don't feel, I feel like it might be too inappropriate, though, for like primetime television. Mm. We reached the climax. No, no, nah, no. Just no. a song. Or going to do side to side. Who cares? Who did it last year? Rihanna? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. And yeah. she did the, the beauty, Fenty Beauty promotion, too. Yeah. And her sales skyrocketed. Oh, did they? I mean, mm-hmm. obviously. And she was pregnant, too, right? Mm-hmm. That's... I think she like kind of like announced there. Uh-huh. But people were like, correctly. was that an announcement? It's kind of I like, remember yeah. when Beyonce did her announcement at the yeah. whatever that was. The amazing. Cardi think. B also did, too. I think at Coachella. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a Coachella performance. <laughs> That's very funny. Actually, maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. I so these water bottles. What about them? They, uh, you sent a screenshot a and a DM. Yeah, they, Awala was like, we need to send you guys a bunch or something like that. And so and then I you messaged responded? them. And they haven't said anything back. You haven't asked us to make our picks, though. Huh? We no, made they haven't made sense. We were just trying to confirm with them. Our like, picks. Well, they oh, said. Oh, oh. They said. Well, we I should... don't know if we're picking them or they're just going to send us. I would prefer to pick. I would prefer. <laughs> I would prefer. Me too. But has your life has your life improved since? Yeah, getting I'm it? a whole different person. Me too. Yeah. I now see them all the time at the gym. Yeah. Oh my god, guys! Guess who I saw at the gym yesterday? Okay. Uh, um, famous. Glenn Close. <laughs> I don't think she's working out at Equinox. Hold on, what kind of celebrity? Jo- oh, Jodie Foster. Not a celebrity, but like oh, influencer. Yes. Uh, T- reality TV. No. Influencer only. Yes. Uh, Someone we know. Tana Mojo. Jeffrey Star. No. No. Shane Dawson. Um, musically. Jojo Siwa. No. Brent Rivera. N- no. Musically. Who do I know from music? Oh, musically, baby Ariel. She was there, oh, but whoa. she's not the big one. <laughs> get, get the big one. She's not the big one who I saw. Not TikTok, but musically. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's big on music? Let me give you a hint. Liza. You can wear my. Sweat. Oh, oh, Jacob Sartorius. Yes, him and Jacob baby Ariel were like filming videos of each other. No Whoa. way. Whoa. Yeah. What a sight to see. I was like, what? What he's, year is it? You're, yeah, you're like he's he is only twenty years old. Because I had to Google, I was like, oh my god, I haven't thought of this kid in forever. So he was 11 when we all... Oh, actually, he might be turning... I, his birthday's like in October, so he might be 21 now. Happy birthday, oh. Jacob. Are I you guys going to MagCon get... this year? I hope so. I hope I'm invited. Don't make fun of MagCon, right? <laughs> we did get Sean Mendez out of that, so... Is, oh, is, I saw a funny tweet that said if Sean Mendez's name was spelled S-E-A-N, <laughs> he would not have a career. <laughs> <laughs> just like kind of so scene mendez yeah what's he up to is he still on his hiatus I probably don't know. i saw a really embarrassing paparazzi video oh, of him. did you see that yeah, i was like god I just what? Like, Wait, so what weird how that became like news though i was like whatever it's just like a paparazzi filming him from like across the street and he's at his house parked his car in his house and he opens his trunk and his groceries start falling out. But as they're falling out, the garage door is closing. It was like not. It's like a gate. So like the potatoes are on the other yeah, side like of the potatoes. gate. Potatoes. It wasn't like bags. It wasn't like, it was like crazy, a couple but, potatoes. Yeah, but still, I'd be like, God damn. And then there's like his... all these TMZ articles about. I'm like, get, let the guy breathe. Slow news day. Yeah. He's buying his own groceries. Yeah, I feel like he's he would a humble be a good, king. I guess. Like, yeah, but if I was like kind of that famous, I would just like get get groceries delivered. To like my Adam Sandler house. wouldn't buy his own go groceries. Out. I just I hate going to the grocery store as it is. Yeah, I feel you. I feel like he's like a farmers market, like Air One kind of girly. Mm. I saw Lily Rose Depp at Air One yesterday mm. and her girlfriend. You are seeing everybody, yeah. Aaron. She's well, yeah. she's in the plaza. Little celeb magnet over here. I yeah. know. I was like. <gasps> They were walking and like kissing, and I was like, "Who's that?" Did you get a pic? Yeah, she actually recognized me. Oh wow! She's like, "I love your podcast." Oh my god! Thank you so much, LRD. Yeah. (laughs) This portion of Good Influences is sponsored by Spokio. Imagine you match with someone on a dating app, things move over to texting, and now they want to meet in person. Sounds completely normal, right? Well, the way that we date today puts our trust into a complete stranger that we meet online. 
We all know that creating a dating profile takes just a few minutes, so think about all the scammers, imposters, and catfishers that roam these apps. Before you let things get serious, make sure you always vet your dates through Spokio. Spokio is a people search website that supports online dating safety. Simply search with what info you do have about someone, like their name or phone number, and Spokio will pull a report with all the available records they have, giving you the missing pieces to the puzzle. You could find additional information like someone's age, phone number, socials, court records, and more. Gain transparency about the type of people you meet online by going to spokeo.com slash dating. That's S-P-O-K-E-O dot -E com slash dating. Report rates may apply. Available information may vary. And now, back to the episode. What's your sweatshirt? Uh, Thrills. Sweatshirt. Thrills, Australian company. Mm -hmm. They sent it to me. <gasps> Big flex. Oh, never mind. I want to say. No, what? let's hear it. I love when Matt does this. No, it's stupid. Well, we what, met someone famous last night, but I don't want to talk about it. Why? Oh, I already know. we just know. want to respect someone's privacy. Well, privacy's been disrespected on our <laughs> vlog, so... <laughs> you yeah. can go watch that. Uh, <laughs> so Aaron gave her all opinion on the drive this morning. Okay, well... We but can... it was Mike, um... Extricated himself he, from the situation? He declined. I declined to comment. He is yeah. in the video, though, so if it, if it gets clipped, <laughs> you're in it. The, like, tea, the tea spill accounts? Mike's, in it. Mike's gonna be in those. Yeah. Please don't. Um, oh, please, don't. please can you message Carly back? Yay, I want one of these. Please. There's a, a term, actually, for like, you know when you like come across a new word or, or you're like researching a car or this water bottle and then you start seeing it everywhere? Yeah. That's a psychological phenomenon called the beta... Manifestation. Spider Minhoff phenomenon. No, it's not manifestation. The Bechdel, the Bechdel test. No, not the Bechdel test. <laughs> that was a good one. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, say what it really We've is. We've been messing with Mike all <laughs> morning. I got into the car this morning and it was just, oh, someone's in a mood. And I was like, I haven't said anything. Um, Uncanny keep... Valley. No, bottom. <laughs> Bringing up every theory Mike has okay. brought on. I know, we're show. done. We can like, move on. No, what is What's it? it called? It's, it's just a, can I, can I read it to you? I guess. <sighs> Guys. TikTok. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Did you order food I again? will say I've seen like so many Awalas now in the world. I think they're just getting really popular. Yeah. No, this is the... It's the phenomenon. That's not true because... Phenomenon. I don't, I don't believe you. The Bider meinhof phenomenon refers to the false impression that something happens more frequently than it actually does. This often occurs when we learn something new. Suddenly, this seems to appear more frequently when in reality, it's only our awareness of it that has increased. Yeah. yeah. It's like Awala bottles may have been around, but we just haven't noticed them because we didn't think about it beforehand. This or maybe existed, they are. This existed before, like, but, our phones were listening. But to not us, for right? me because, yes. like, but for me though, I'm always like <laughs> paying what? attention to things that are 1994. On the rise, so wow, yeah, the, these have been around since 1994. No, 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 this theory at night. Because oh. I like in college, I remember like we would learn what? <laughs> I made a joke, but like no we go with fast. Sorry, sorry. And, like, no. what? I'm worried about people who heard it and they were like, <laughs> they were like, yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh saying, no. well, you were talking about like the spot effect. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't apply to me because I'm always in on like trends before oh. they get popular or something like that. <laughs> And it was just sorry. I'm and then you guys kept going, out. and I was like, wait, wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> sorry, go. Leave it in. Leave yeah. it in. No, no, no. Go. Okay, what were you saying? Just like in college, this would happen where like I would learn a new word or something, and mm -hmm. then I would start to hear it pop up. And I asked my friend, I was like, you ever notice when like, I don't know, you come up with a new theory or hear something new, then you just see it up everywhere? And we Googled it. And then ever since then, it's like, I mm -hmm. notice yeah, you if you learn it. a new word or like you hear a new word, like, juxtaposition oh you'll yeah. start hearing that word oh, what i just i remember the first time i it heard the like, word ju juxtaposition like for yeah. you mm -hmm. yeah or like if you're researching it. a new car you'll be like oh now i see that car everywhere yeah, yeah. I, oh that literally happened to me this weekend my friend's getting a new tesla and she's like oh i'm getting like the gray mm. one i was like gray one and now you see him everywhere right i literally saw it like a thousand times that day biter meinhof yeah that's like what the law of attraction is kind of i think it's i like agree when you too. think of positive yes. things they're just gonna notice it more because yeah your brain is your like brain, a filter which is still like a good thing yeah, yeah. it's just like it's a frequency so you gotta think positive wow bechdel theory i'm good on that actually <laughs> the bechdel theory we should, we Circadian should, rhythm. So, someone someone <laughs> <laughs> what I'm just, like, everyone words. is becoming dumber today <laughs> yeah. this is yeah this is a rough one folks <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna take us out of the educational section on the podcast. Are we in? I almost went like this. No, I know. Are we in educational? No, 
What are we, relationships and I've, advice? I, I wish we could get into the finance thing on YouTube because that's the highest paying. On YouTube? Yeah, if you're in a finance channel, that's the highest paying like RPM you can get. Whoa. You know what stock I'm making our... a big position on? <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me? But wait, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about what stocks I'm buying. Can I? <laughs> you're going to say what I'm stock not... I like. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Right before I'm, buying Tootsie, I'm buying Tootsie Roll to uh, stock because every <laughs> every like a prank. <laughs> every season between now Tootsie and Roll. December, Tootsie Roll stock yeah. always goes up. And it's usually four out of the past five years, it's always gone up. Uh, when the stock market goes down, Tootsie Roll usually goes up. <laughs> How much I are you going like, to walk away with, the you think? stock. Oh, not that much. Do like, you guys this like is Tootsie Rolls? No, yes, they're the worst candy. I love them. Just... Oh, yeah. I love them. They're one of my like not favorite. I feel like it's the first candy I ever had. It's Probably so not true, scary but... how like not sealed it is. Like it's, <laughs> it's just very it's, spooky. It's, it's just like a, a pack twist. of gum. A but, like a pack of gum is sealed up like no, the same way. No, it's plastic yeah, around with, like, a pack of gum. Mambas, you go do that. Yeah. What's a mamba? A mamba. The mamba chews. You know those like square mambas. And like frequently in gas stations, they also have like the long, the long ones that look like little ropes, and you kind of go boop like a tootsie roll. I need it. Okay. Yeah, they're really good. Um, I like the there's like the tootsie rolls that are the flavors. Yeah, those are good like too. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. I want my candy to be sealed. Okay. Like like <laughs> this attracts. Like I'm fucked with them all. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like a good high chew. Oh, I don't like high chews either. Those so are scary. I love high chews. Oh my gosh, it's, I think it's the best candy made in the like in the world. In the yeah. <laughs> Can I Google what a high chew is? I need cool. to see. Do like, you not know packaging. what a high chew is? You'll, you are missing out. Oh, not for me. Oh, Someone sent like, it in our P.O. box once and I ate it. Bubblicious is really good. I feel like that's a better version that's of high chew. If you want to get like... Is high chew gum? No. no. But it's, it's you enjoy so much flavor. <laughs> you get to enjoy the treat for a while. And then you finish it. You get to start another. Mm. Bubblicious, though. Oh, I mean, I you're for, for what? 30 seconds. And yeah, then you're like, get this shit that... out of my mouth. <laughs> I know. It's so good for like five seconds. But yeah. the fir those first couple chews with all the powder still on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tr 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 true. The... Uh, I used to have a one of my biggest wishes when I was a child. I don't know if you guys ever had Skittles before. But back in the 90s <laughs> and 2000s, they used to make Skittles with gelatin, which gelatin is like animal product cartilage yeah and cartilage. it's and it's not kosher zero percent and then when i was like in third grade or something someone was like yeah i don't think skittles are kosher there's gelatin in that i didn't know what gelatin was and then like ever since that i could never have skittles again and my one wish was that they made skittles without gelatin and now they do manifestation but yeah. now i saw them on a list of their like skittles are about to be banned i know and now I'm, this is the second half is there the gelatin I think is removed, but they huh? have so much like yellow lake blue 40 like all these artificial colors that they're using are just purely cancer causing yeah. terrible like they're banned in europe all these chemicals that they use are just terrible but once in a while if i see skittles i'm just like fuck it i'm leaving living my best life have you ever microwaved them no what happens if you microwave skittles they just get a little bigger a little like hotter stickier Hot chewy skittles? interesting I don't like know, we used to do it at the skate park when we were <laughs> kids we would like uh you know, we just microwave skittles it was kind of where fun... was there a microwave at the skate park <laughs> in like the break room, <laughs> the break room? <laughs> wait what like kids would go to the skate park bring a sack lunch and you could like put it in the fridge and stuff and i think they had like a water oh. fountain in like a bending machine wait, a skate stuff? park indoors an indoor skate park? It was like an indoor outdoor skate park, but there was like a break room I think where I we were like, about our ice like if you go to a pool, those. sometimes at a, a public pools, yeah. there's an area where people can go sit and yeah. lounge and have access to things. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I just, just yeah, like, like outdoor for, California for me, like, skate, the skate parks. Park, yeah. But even in my hometown, it was like, just like at a park. Yeah. Oh, just like, like a outdoors. public, public, public park. Yeah. No, this was like a private <laughs> public, 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 <laughs> public, public park, park around. <laughs> just the regular one. Pavo, Pavo, Pavo. <laughs> Guys, they're silly goofy. Well, speaking of uh, being an asshole. Uh, yeah. <laughs> speaking of two P's and a V and A. Speaking of two P's and a V and A. That's an insane amount of P's. <laughs> what, uh, what, Not enough if you have oh, the, two, the two P's and the V and the A is what's that book called? Is it <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I like, think because well, the icebreaker one, I was like, that sweet little cheerleader girl. Like, no, she's horny. She's someone's daughter. Wildfire. 
I think okay, is the sequel. What's the bot? Show me the wild pussy folds. <laughs> folds. Oh shit! Okay, folds wild is crazy. Folds. I have to read this. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'll buy it and read it and then it, give it to you. Is it paperback or hardcover? Uh, paperback. Oh. The, um, you think they're making hard covers? <laughs> I just want to read something that naughty. Hard cover. <laughs> yeah, it's like a New York Times bestseller. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's just porn. Number one. I just hate the cover. It, I wish no, it was... they're so cheesy. That's yeah. why I was like always avoid. And people were like, "You have to read these." And I was like, "Huh?" Okay. Who wants to go first? Wedding drama. Am I the asshole? Oh. Sorry, I have two foot different folders on my phone. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, Ugh. "Did you do what? any? Did Don't you do, do the any research?" Ones. Oh, I know. For what? This. Of course. Yeah, okay, but they good. just had their phones open, so I was like, okay. "You guys can go." Okay, I have one. Can I go? Of course she does. Studious, prepared, always on the ball, never does anything wrong. Everyone loves her and thinks she's funny. No controversy, Carly. Why don't you go? <laughs> oh my God, no. get it off your chest. <laughs> Hashtag no controversy, Carly. What is there? Do we no, need to I'm just, I'm just being crazy. Okay. He's being so, I, a little I've, silly goofy. I just had so much caffeine. We are, this is crazy because I feel like we're normally like this post After. lunch. Yeah. This is when everyone's like, they're high. It's like, <laughs> no, if you're high, you'd be like, it's literally 9 a.m. I want Skittles. Can we do a I high mean, episode? Well, I know Mike wouldn't I think partake, I would have like a. I can't. I, I, I would like to do a, a shit face drunk episode. I feel like maybe we just do that at like a home. We just filmed it. Yeah. It would be so hard I to know. party bus. We, yeah. yeah. <laughs> party Wait, bus we can't bus. afford an Uber in the middle of the day, <laughs> no, though. We can't afford an I just, Uber. We can't afford an Uber. I just We're don't want to take. I just don't want to take transportation. Really? No. Oh God. I go. We can't take an Uber. We're negative money. He goes. Are we really? <laughs> The whole time I we're in debt. No, 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 I, said, I don't take public transportation, and no one said anything. No, 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 no. I don't take public, public, public. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. okay. Also, I, I don't remember which one, but some of them are so obviously like they're an sure. asshole, but they're just like crazy. So I have them. You never know in this group. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maybe that was totally fine. <laughs> Uh, and pardon me because it's going to be hard for me to read this because the text is very small. I should have my iPad. That would been very studious of me. Oh, cute. We should all get right. iPads. I, I have, have one, one and I do Except love for it. you. Okay. What do you mean? Except, except for me. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, like, I feel like you're already so distracted by a little teeny device. Oh, I wow. Imagine, I couldn't imagine putting a big computer. Except for you. Aaron, Aaron brings us uh, all iPads except Matt. You get it. <laughs> Match just sitting there waiting. <laughs> Where's mine? Aaron's gonna, an rent, iPhone 12. Aaron's gonna rent one from the public library. So it's a public, 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 public iPad. <laughs> Everyone's used it. It's okay, so let's get into okay. the same idea. Am asshole. I the asshole for photoshopping a picture of my girlfriend? Ooh. <laughs> okay. So about a month ago, I was talking to a guy in, at work. He's pretty fit, like myself, and we were talking about gym routines. I'd seen a picture of him on Facebook, and he had almost perfect physique, and I was asking his secrets. He explained to me that it wasn't all him and showed me an app on his phone that he used to edit his pictures and give him an extra boost the app was free so i downloaded it it was pretty good and i showed my girlfriend the pics and she thought they were pretty good too so weird to me that i don't know someone being like look at this photoshop picture of me like that's pretty good i kind of <laughs> want to know what the app is now i know it's probably just like if it's that subtle. it's probably like facetune or something yeah. um where was I? Over the coming weeks, I got a bit obsessed and about editing pics for myself and then got bored with it. Never shared a picture with anyone other than her and the guy at work. One day, I was again bored watching some program with a girlfriend and I started to play with it again. I edited it myself, the cat, and I edited myself, the cat, and a few pictures <laughs> of my girlfriend. Gave it a little BL. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Short in the ears. Wow. Long whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she's also in good shape, we gym or so, I don't know, we gym or so some other activity together every other day. I gave her- Suck off. No, we do. Oh. We, the DNS for the next to each other. The P-S-O suck <laughs> off. In the A. I gave her, okay, this is, this is him editing. I gave her a flatter stomach, pinched waist, and bigger boobs. After a while, I thought I'd done a good job and showed it to her. She was not impressed at all and asked why I'd done it. I explained I was bored with the TV program and wondered what she would look like with bigger boobs. She got annoyed and turned off the program and went upstairs to watch it. Am I the asshole? I want to know what he did to the cat. <laughs> I know, that's what I really want to know, too. Well, because, like, it seems like he edited her seriously. If he edited it, like, 
funny. Yeah. yeah. That then I'm like, would be okay, funny. haha. But like, if you're editing her seriously, I could see why she would take it and be like, do you not think I'm pretty enough? Yeah. Yeah. Making a girl's boobs bigger they is like. should have done yes. it together, been like, oh, ha ha ha. Yeah. Ha. Like, yeah. like, with your, totally. when you're both seeing it. But that's it's also just risky. Weird. He makes the boobs bigger. Ah, oh, so that's what you want to see. Exactly. Like, yeah. And yeah. I'd be like, oh, so my boobs aren't adequate enough that yeah. you, yeah. you'd rather have them bigger. It also has. um. Do we have the pictures? <laughs> no, I fucking wish. I want to see the cat. It says edit. Firstly, I think my girlfriend is beautiful. This wasn't for me wanting to change her. I also did other pictures like long arms and making my cat super fat. Oh, okay, love. We spoke about 30 minutes later and I apologize as I never intended to upset her. We are cool and she knows I think she's beautiful. I don't. Okay. The weirdest part of this is like, why is he doing this? Yeah, I don't know. Like, to he got not, obsessed with it. I know. Said. It's so weird. I know. To even not like put it anywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's. It seems like he wanted to see what he would look like, but not want to like share it because it's maybe embarrassing. Yeah, but now it's an obsession. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, he's like, I have to edit everything, even my cat. Boys will do anything but go to therapy. <laughs> right. <God. laughs> see a therapist um, about it all. All right, I have one. Uh, am I the asshole for being pissed off at my wife for your? <laughs> Did you write this one? <laughs> <laughs> No. Am I the asshole for being pissed off at my wife for taking our daughter to a pumpkin patch? Uh, okay. Hey. Did you look up pumpkin patch? Yeah. I, <laughs> I looked up pumpkin to see what kind of stories would come up. Okay. Halloween is my favorite holiday of the entire year, and all year long I look forward to taking my daughter trick or treating. My wife absolutely hates Halloween and wants Ooh. nothing to do with it. So this year she planned to volunteer at her church on Halloween where they will have a pumpkin patch and a bounce house. She has talked it up behind my back to our daughter so much that my daughter is convinced she would rather go to a pumpkin patch instead of trick or treating with her dad and all of her friends. I am super angry that that she secretly sabotaged our <laughs> Halloween together. Am I the asshole? Um, edits by popular demand. Basically, the wife is a very uh, religious woman, but wasn't always so. Oh. Just during lately, she's become very religious and despises Halloween. They are currently married, but they have been had some rocky patches, but he doesn't see divorce in the future. And three, the event she is uh, volunteering to run is a trick-or-treating replacement event held at the church to overlap trick-or-treating. Oh. Is it trunk or treat? I've done that. Basically. Yeah. And he's just church. like been so excited for his daughter to really experience <laughs> trick-or-treating trick or and do the authentic Halloween. But the mom, who hates Halloween, well, is now roping it's... her into a church thing. It yeah. seems like this is just going to be the start of problems. Yeah, yeah if she's going deep into the that, religion stuff. Yeah. Like, you won't let them trick or treat because it's, like, evil. Yeah, that's just, like, first layer of yeah. issues that could possibly come up, I think. Yeah. Like, it's Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, he's not the asshole. Oh, no. For being no. upset. Yeah. That's a valid... Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no yeah. it's, it's, it's intentionally... It, no, it sounds like the wife is very like, conniving. It yes. intentionally sabotaged his like hopes for like sharing the Halloween with his daughter. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, that's yeah. crazy. That people, I, it's crazy that people think it's evil, like for real. I want to know like where they stand today. When was this submitted? Uh, a Twelve year ago. hours ago. Mm. A year ago. Yeah. Um, so, have you tapped on his name and see if he's posted an update? Let's see. Are you yeah, on like, the Reddit app? We're or screenshots? almost to Halloween this year. I wonder. Yeah. Oh, they're divorced. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, that surprised yeah, me. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah, he yeah. still posts, but oh. nothing seems like he's revealing too much about his personal life. Oh. Um, well, okay. Pumpkin oh. patch drama. What were people yeah. in the comments saying? Uh, that he's not the asshole. Oh, okay. And they're very concerned that the wife Sad is. Sad that he <laughs> thought he was. I know. I feel like he didn't like do anything. He probably uh, She probably made him feel like yeah. he was doing something wrong. I have a messy one. Oh, oh perfect. Love. Okay. I'm not going to give away the title. I want you to just be along for the ride. Okay. Okay. My, female 28, sister-in-law, Amy, female 26, always comes to visit from out of town. So Amy always comes to visit this person from out of town. They're both about the same age, mid-20s. She stays with us instead of a hotel and always wants to go to expensive restaurants. She always conveniently forgets her wallet or comes up with some excuse as to why she can't pay her share. She has implied that since I make so much more money than her, I should be the one to pay. No, not my husband, but me specifically. I do make a fair amount of money, but not so much that I can treat someone every time they come to town. Nonetheless, in the past, I just pay the bill and ask her to pay me back. She never has. She made a reservation at an extremely expensive restaurant last night, and before we left, I made it clear that I would not be paying her bill. 
this is where I might be the asshole. And I'll admit, I got this move straight from an episode of Two and a Half Men. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, as we were leaving, her and my husband went to the car. I pretended I forgot something and went back inside. I found her wallet sitting on top of her suitcase, and I put it in my purse and went to the restaurant. When we were done eating, I asked for a separate check, and she said, no, we need one bill because she forgot her wallet again. And then I reached into my purse and I said, mm-hmm. this wallet? She was extremely furious and she said that I should not have touched or grabbed her wallet. Am I the asshole for picking up her wallet and bringing it to the restaurant? No. no. That's This that's is so slick. Yeah, it's like a perfect little. She didn't do anything harmful. She just brought her wallet. <laughs> that yeah. is so sick. Yeah. I know. Oh, this Yeah, wallet? isn't that so dramatic? I thought Houdini it was going to go in the direction. Out of thin air. I thought it was going to go in the direction of like, I forgot my wallet. Can you guys pay? Sure. But pay with her card. I thought the same but thing. But she doesn't yeah. realize that she's mm-hmm. paying with her card. Yeah, I yeah. think she I did think it just a, enough where a, she wasn't no, crossing the line. Sp- I agree. Split the bill. You exactly. forgot your wallet. Here's your wallet. And yeah, then what an annoying person to I know. always leave their what wallet. The fuck? And then this is my favorite Freeloader. part. This is, yeah. the, this is the edit that she did. Amy just called me. She saw this post and yelled at me for <gasps> bad mouthing her on the internet. <laughs> That didn't happen. Honestly, <laughs> no. Honest, she says. I on, bet it did. She says honestly, I don't care. Amy, hopefully, reading all these comments is a wake up call for you. Damn. Slay. I mean, yeah. So slick. When I read these and I see the comments, I'm like, I hope this person is like reading these comments. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. like they need to see this. Yeah. I love God. the ones that are specifically like mother in laws. Oh, they're so like, many. oh, my family saw this and everyone's sending it around to each other. And now my mm-hmm. mother-in-law is so mad at me. Because some are so specific. It's like, well, this has to be about our family. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no way it's not. <laughs> like, the crazy Do ones are think... like, throw away. And I'm like, okay. Like, well, they're going to know. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> you're on it at all? Am I, I don't think asshole? I've ever been on Reddit. Uh, like, I don't know. Someone's written something about you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just think though, if something, if I was dealing with my own personal drama or having like an "am I the asshole" situation, I would not be like, "Ooh, I need to go on Reddit and like type <laughs> this know, out." It's very. But I get it. I think it's nice to have like people who have no idea who you are to totally. like weigh in to yeah. be like, "Actually, you're wrong," or like, "You're in the right." Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I think it's people who don't probably have great Close. like, yeah. s- you know, good social clothes. circles or just like but support even that, system. it's like people, you know, in real life are going to have feelings about True. you or your significant or like whatever. It's, yeah. It's almost like talking to a therapist where it's like, you don't know anybody, so you can say whatever you want. It would just be funny. Like it show like Judge Judy, but it's just being like, not Damn. the asshole, <laughs> asshole. Like, there's no legal that consequence. Such you a good just, idea. Yeah, yeah, for you, a show. Like a game show. Yeah. But we all dress like we're like a whole jury, a jury. like a Supreme Court. And we're just like, That's not, it's like funny. America's Got Talent. We're just like, <laughs> golden buzzer. <laughs> Yeah. World's biggest asshole. Wow, that's a good idea. Really Matt. good. You should pitch it. Nobody steal it. Nick Cannon can be the host. We could hit. Re- reach out to collab. Nick Cannon. <laughs> to collab. He just hosts we have everything. A freebie connect. We can pitch yeah. Freebie. Yeah. Okay. Am I the asshole for driving away without my wife because she can't plan? Whoa. For the past week, my wife and I had been anticipating a baseball game for which we had purchased tickets. We like baseball, but we don't attend many games, so traveling into the city to see games is a rare treat. I know, though, that it would take time to drive there and find parking due to traffic. Because the game started at 7 p.m. and we live about 45 minutes from the stadium, I told her this morning that she needed to be ready to get in the car and go by 6 p.m. Mm. Well, my wife is an avid gamer, so she was engrossed in her latest video game Uh -uh. when the clock struck 545 p.m. Mm -mm. She has struggled to plan in the past, and I get tired of reminding her that she needs to budget time to get ready. It is as if she has no concept of time at all, similar to a young child. Well, I was ready to go by 6 p.m., and she was still in the bathroom. I saw this as as an opportunity to teach her a personal responsibility, so I simply left the house without saying a word, got in the car, and started driving to the game. It took my wife a few minutes to figure out what I had done, but when she called me, she was furious. She said that it was a completely unacceptable move for me to leave without telling her and that she now had to wait to get to the game without paying for parking. I told her that she had no way to get to the game. I told her that I got tired of constantly waiting for her and that she would plan better next time if she didn't want to get left behind. I also reminded her that I had told her that morning when I expected her to be ready to leave. Absolutely none of this seemed to matter, though, and she rudely hung up on me after yelling out more insults. Frankly, I think it's completely insane that a grown woman is unable to budget her time, and I'm starting to suspect that she's doing this on purpose because she's a narcissist who expects me to accommodate her. (laughs) After all, she's not a dumb woman. 
She has a science degree. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's giving love is blind. Yeah. Everyone has um, a science degree on Well, here. I'm like, I was following along until this. Well, she never showed up to the stadium and I didn't hear from her the whole game. But when I got home, there was a note on the door. She told me that I wasn't welcome in the bedroom and that I should sleep on the couch. I can't believe she wants to be this much of a pill. If I had waited for her, I would have missed the first pitch. I made my expectations clear and she couldn't be bothered to meet them. I feel like she should be apologizing to me. Am I the asshole? Um... Well, <laughs> I think he is, in a way, not the asshole, but dude, you're going to a baseball game. It's not like the start of a movie. Like, I'm big <laughs> about, like, trying to commit to, like, the movie's going to start. And yeah. I spent the money and we agreed on this time. I don't want to go walk in 15 minutes late to a movie because you got to understand the movie and what's going on. A baseball game, there's nine innings. Like you're not. Yeah, this was maybe not the best time to prove your like. Yes. Your, to do your stunt. The, but I feel like this guy's probably just. I feel like fed. there's like no time, no good time if she's constantly yeah. doing it. Have you seen the TikTok of the girl who's like, why are there no accommodations for people who struggle with time dilation? Oh, no, t yes. Uh, or, and she's just like basically complaining about how she like, and, and it's just all the stitches are like, she's just like, oh yeah, just like, what about accommodations for people who just have really, we just can't be, and he just goes, one of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, it was really interesting because I was like, I, I understand like being so frustrated with people yeah. who don't like respect your time yeah yeah and like obviously he's doing it over and over again with her i do think he could have been like okay like it's six o'clock i'm leaving and it, mm -hmm. like just so he could get that out of the way and be like well i told you and then yeah. you weren't ready and yeah. like this is what's happening she so clearly needs left. some sort of like big shock to the system to yeah. wake her up i agree because also at the end of the day like it's not his responsibility to be like okay now you have to do this now you have to yeah. do this now yeah. it's time to go or like, now it's time to set an alarm because of her yeah yeah i don't think he's the asshole for leaving her yeah i think she needed to be taught a lesson i agree yeah right i just don't think it was like the right circumstance yeah, but there, uh, like she Aaron missed said, a big game. There is no right circumstance. Yeah. True, because of their it, it could be movie. dinner. It could be dinner with the in-laws. It could be a baseball wedding, game. Like, like it's honestly to better to do it on a low stakes thing like this rather than like if there was a wedding they were going to and then she didn't get to go to the wedding, then she's really pissed. But if she just missed a baseball game, yeah. With something Patricia and I, we've been kind of practicing uh, in our relationship when like uh, you know leave. There's a big thing about like, oh, what time do we need to leave? Mm -hmm. And sometimes usually every time we're leaving, it's like we're just getting out the door like that last minute or Patricia's like just finishing up her makeup. And I'm like, come on, come on, come on. And then I'm like, I hate that it's always add this like other momentum of like stress because it's like we're almost about to be late. Mm -hmm. But now we've like communicated. I really enjoy the times that 30 minutes before we have to leave for something, but we're already ready and we get to sit and enjoy that time with each other because we're already dressed up. We can have our own little glass of wine and have our own little kind of private little pregame with each other. We're trying to enjoy that moment together as a couple more than like stressing stress, stress, out stress. about to the last That's minute. Sweet. And it's actually brought like so much more peace oh, like, that. to That's it. That's really sweet. Um, so it's like we if we both commit like, hey, we're going to be ready by that little time to have us moment to breathe as a right. couple. It, it's rather than being like, are you going to be ready at this time? <laughs> yeah. Am I going to It makes us you? appreciate yeah. one another. And it becomes a little bit of like a routine and a ritual, which I like. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. It's a good thing to communicate. Yeah. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend she needs to stop making TikToks as they're so embarrassing? <laughs> Written by Nolan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm currently no. deployed. It's definitely not. <laughs> deployed? I'm currently deployed, and if you're unaware, TikTok has a ridiculous amount of military users. It's so fucking cringe. I swear TikTok is like 90% cringy, edgy, preteens, and teens, military, and creepy old men talking to preteens. I don't know what side of TikTok they're yeah, on, but what? okay. <laughs> Anyways, my girlfriend makes a lot of TikToks about how much she misses me and about being an army girlfriend and stuff. She'll post stuff like hashtag army GF. She also has a rather large following in the tens of thousands. We got to find this girl in the tens of thousands. And pretty much everyone in my unit and on base knows about this. And they nonstop give me shit about it. My commanding officer will roast me in front of everyone. I checked the followers list and almost all of her followers were other servicemen, most of whom are probably on our base. All the comments on her posts are people I know roasting me. So here's some of the TikToks she's made. She's done the classic. 
I'm coming home, coming home <laughs> song, which plays over her hugging me when she meets me. There's millions of those on TikTok. She's posted TikToks about how she upgraded when she dated me, putting pictures of me and her ex together. <gasps> How she went from dating a boy to a man. She made another Oof. one about how she went from thinking One Direction was her dream men. <laughs> but then she met army men. She's made TikToks going off about how much oh, she misses TikToks. me and sends screenshots of our texts or video calls. I Is can't... she 14 years old? Right? Yeah. I know. I wish it said the age. Um, I can't remember what else she's done. I know my girlfriend loves me and is doing this out of love, but it's it's gone not it's got nonstop. I talked to my girlfriend about it and she got really upset that I would tell her to stop. She says I'm not appreciative of her and I shouldn't tell her what to do. I told her I love her, but I'm getting too much shit for this and it's really making my life harder. Um, she hasn't talked to me in a couple days after a conversation and I'm a bit worried I may have really pissed her off. No, he's not the asshole. Yeah. If anything, a... she is for not taking like his, his feelings into consideration yeah. and making it more about like, well, I need people to yeah. see my TikTok videos. Because yeah. like, even if that's the case, that's not how you show your partner you love them. Send them to him privately then. Yeah. yeah. If you don't care about the public if attention. If you're always making a TikTok about someone else and they don't want you to, like, no matter who it is, you should yes. stop doing it. And like, he's putting his life on the line for our country. <laughs> yeah, and he <laughs> is. you ever think about the that? The least you can do is respect him. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> home. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta find she it. Sounds uh, like she sounds like a nightmare. hyper cringe, too. Yeah. Just yeah. like... I wonder how long ago this was posted. What uh, did majority of Reddit uh, say about this guy? Not the know. asshole? I don't know. I have it screenshotted. Uh, so I, I don't know. I feel like also... Oh, it says not the asshole. Okay. Good. I yeah. feel like she also is just using him as a stand-in for an idea of a person. Yes. Okay. not actually Especially him. the comparison. Pairing. It's like yeah. weird that she's like, I went from a boy to a man. She it's like one direction. What a like weird men. thing to do. Yeah, it's like. Like, do you even like this guy or do you just like the, the, the content around what the idea of who totally. he is? Totally. Yeah. Yikes, like brother. Like, it's giving you on attention. Yeah. Yes. I feel like once you see a military TikTok, you probably get like a ton. Because oh, I know it's all going to come up on our feeds <laughs> yeah, now. Oh, yeah. God. Hopefully gonna, it's hers. <laughs> I mean, it'll be mine. Well, because I'm going to search for her and I'll send you all the TikToks. You should do it. army TikToks. <laughs> good, good luck trying to find that. I know. Like, that is like. Maybe well, she said what hashtag she uses. We could look at the hashtag yeah. and then. Oh, yeah. Oh, but tens I don't know of thousands how long ago this was. Maybe it was like a year ago and she's not posted. No, she's. This girl sounds like she's. She's moved on to like musicians now. Yeah, yeah. I thought I liked army men, but actually drummers. <laughs> no, she liked One Direction. She moved on from musicians. Oh, okay, okay. My girlfriend, 24, and I, 27, male, have been dating for five years. I don't have any social media, no Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snap. I'm a private guy and like keeping my personal life to myself. My girlfriend, on the other hand, is obsessed with Instagram. She has over 800 photos and is constantly scrolling through every waking moment she's not working or sleeping. She would rather spend time attention-seeking from her 5,000-plus followers than spend quality time with me. I confronted her a few times about this in the last year, in the last few years, and she always tells me she'll cut down on her Instagram usage, but she never has. Last week, she was using my laptop because her laptop was at the store, and noticed she forgot to log out from her email. So I did the forgot password thing oh and God. reset her password to log in. I Googled how to delete Instagram and <laughs> followed the link and deleted her account. Oh my God. She woke up the next morning and started screaming and crying about how I permanently deleted, quote, her Instagram instead of, quote, deactivating it and that I betrayed her trust. Now she won't talk to me because she says she can't recover her Instagram profile and 10 years of photos are lost forever. I think she's being incredibly childish and throwing a tantrum over some random app. Am I the asshole? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're the asshole. Jeez. There's many percent. other ways to go about this than deleting her fucking... It's giving Lele Pons deleting whoever's Instagram she deleted. Didn't she, like, delete someone's Instagram account? Uh, oh, no yeah, idea. she deleted, like, Amanda's... Pictures yes. of Amanda Cerny. Yeah, she, like, deleted her that account. That is my Roman Empire. Right? <laughs> Wait, what That's happened? a scandal I want to talk about. Wow. Amanda Cerny posted this video where like her and Lele Pons had a big falling out and uh -huh. she told this story about how when her and Lele were together Lele would take Amanda's like phone away from her and then would yes. delete the photos of her and Lele off of Amanda's profile. But it was something like she deleted her like Vine account or deleted her Instagram yeah. account. It wasn't the whole like account. That. She was like uh -oh. going and like erasing any collabs Weird. that they did together. Like well, that's that, weird. It's just bananas. But anyways, I feel like he's a This guy's a fucking maniac. Asshole. He has yes. no clue. That's so fucked up. Like, yeah. either figure it out or break up. Like, totally. Don't delete the... Like, holy I, like, you're so, like, Reddit tech savvy. Like, how did you know, not know what you were doing by, like, deleting a, an account versus, like, deactivating it? I think it? he knew. I think he didn't care. I think he's just yeah, like... I think he was like, no, nope, Fuck bye. you. Fuck your photos. Like, you spend too much time on this. But also, he doesn't have any social media, so may benefit of the doubt, maybe he didn't know it was true. different. Yeah, maybe he thought he was like deleting the app or something. Yeah. But even still, but like seeing that's... deactivate would like alarm me that it's 
donezo. Basically. Yeah. No, this guy. But I'm just a woman. Can you imagine if you fucking someone just deleted your Instagram permanently? Oh yeah, I would like break I, up I'd with be... somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be what? Oh yeah, I would break yeah, up with somebody. They will never last. He's like, I don't have Twitter now. I don't have Instagram. Yeah. I got nothing. No, I mean, I don't know. I think it's that's just like burning someone's invasion. photo out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. The, I think it's not about it's about the photos. I think because you don't really have them saved anywhere else. I think if this like played out, like I think that she she needs a little intervention yeah like yes. that would be really fucking annoying i don't think i could ever be with someone who was like that constantly scrolling yeah but like he absolutely took it way too far yeah two extremes not not the answer they i saw one up. like that but it was tiktok it was like my girlfriend like anything she's doing coffee tiktok talking to me tiktok in bed tiktok watching a movie tiktok oh my was like, god jesus christ did he delete it no uh, but it was just like if you I lost okay, all what of if your you're digital married <laughs> What? What? What, what do you mean? What's mine is yours, sweetie. Delete. Oh, oh like deactivating it. Yeah. Still fucked up. No, I know. Do you think if you lost all of your phone, your photos digitally? I'm not talking about the Instagram account. I'm just talking about just every... lost all your photos. Sad. How? Oh no! Like how devastated would you be? Or do you think you'd be able to like bounce back and be like, it's okay. I see the light. I'll be fine. I don't know. The thing is, I feel like I, I could like deal with it. But I know. I feel like I could too. When I would... I, before I got this phone, every phone I would get, I would just start new with Whoa. like nothing except for contacts. So I feel like I never have like an attachment to photos like that. You didn't like save them? I I, I think maybe like some. I don't know. I no, lost I just... a whole bunch. I lost a couple years worth of photos one time. Oh, I didn't because I, I, I thought iCloud. I didn't understand like backing it up what that meant, yeah. and I wasn't paying for it. It still and... not doesn't make sense. So, but yeah. now I still have everything. <laughs> Up until that like 2015 but there's a gap of like 20 2013 to 2015 i don't have those photos i like put everything on hard drives wow i have my android like when i or my android photos i have all those from college but it's the early days of my yeah. iphone i yeah. think i accept they're google, gone like, i have google yeah. photos That's too smart i have every i think every photo since 2008 and google photos Whoa. yeah it's nice it's sometimes nice oh to God, go back had and a see phone with a camera in 2008 yeah i had an iphone 3g 3G? Okay. What? That was the first yeah, like one. Right? Motorola flip phone. In 2008? Mm -hmm. No, once the iPhone came out, I was like... Did your parents get it for you, or you paid it for it with your no, own money? my parents got it for me. I'm fucking... Oh. I'm did, privileged. They, did all Sheffer brothers get an <laughs> iPhone? Yeah, we were big tech guys. <laughs> That's wow. true. I had wow. no idea... Oh, oh my god, when did I get an iPhone? Uh, well, until... I got an iPhone when... They, they joined mm -hmm. Verizon because originally iPhone was just only on oh, AT and T, yeah. so yeah. You which I didn't have. You couldn't have. That must have been me too. Mine was an iPhone four. College. It was crazy that Same. iPhone used to not have like copy and paste on it. Like I had a BlackBerry. Right. There what? were so many features that like weren't. Or, yeah, you couldn't copy and paste text on the iPhone for like years. Why is being like? How is there no keyboard? Yeah, it was. It was weird. Mm -hmm. Like because you were you could like tag like. Obviously, it's terrible, but like texting and driving, you didn't even have to look at the phone. With you like could a Blackberry? Feel, you could like feel which the numbers were, yes. but with Blackberry. iPhone, you can't do that at all. T9. <laughs> yeah, what? T9, is what you said? Yeah. I <laughs> wish they had like a T9 option on they probably, the iPhone. I bet you could like download something. Like a T9 keyboard on your iPhone. I feel like that'd be easier oh, to work with. they probably have that, I'm sure. Yeah. Someone's had to have made one. <laughs> but there was, I think, actually one year in like half a year. Where everyone got Blackberries and everyone was BBMing. Oh, I love yeah. that. And I, admit, I was like, what's BBMing? <gasps> Blackberry, Blackberry Messenger. Messenger. Oh, right. It's Have like, you seen the movie? It's really good. Is BBM? it? BBM? Yeah, the Blackberry, the movie? With uh, the guy from Always Sunny? Oh, no yeah. one wants to watch that. But, it's like no, the it's really good. of it or something? <gasps> Buddy? <laughs> Buddy? Oh my gosh, I do do that a lot. <laughs> Have you guys noticed Matt will sometimes go, Buddy, yes. listen up. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Buddy, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I just see I know what you loved my Blackberry. I never had one. But yeah, I know the Kardashians had them I, for like ever. They were like their like work phones. Yeah, they were so good. Should they be our work phones? <laughs> they don't, they're not a company it. anymore. Yeah, they are. Like they went no. out of business. You should see the movie. I really want them to make Sidekick the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that was great to go on Psychic. Nolan downloaded Letterbox and he's been watching all these like random movies yeah. he's never seen. And he's like, Matt has seen everything. I, <laughs> I've like, logged ev every movie I've ever seen in my entire life, I've logged on my Letterbox. You're joking. How do you um, even know? I would say 90% 90, 90 of all the movies I've seen in my life. Because I did it over the course of three days. I sat there and I went through my brain and I went through Damn, every I never movie. never remember. And I'm sure like randomly I'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen this movie. And put that I've in seen, there. well, how many movies do you think I've seen in my entire life? I, ha I could not even I'm gonna say guess. 1,300. 
Uh, 27. No, I have seen... Guys, please go follow me on Letterboxd. I would love to get over 1,000 followers. <laughs> um, get verified. I've seen 1,909 wow. movies. Wow. And that's, it. You think... that's just what you remember. Correct. Yeah. Like, correct. Like Or like last night, though, that movie Red Eye was on. Do you remember with Rachel McAdams yes. and uh, Cillian Murphy? Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. It was, I was like, oh, I haven't added that one. That's I saw I that in it. theaters. I would need like a, a big thing that I'd be like, yep. And I just click yeah. on that I've seen. You, do, you can do that. Oh. You go like, through I would it have all. to look through that. Letterbox that. can show you like no a grid interest. of movies. <laughs> right. I don't either. Um, I, I checked three. But yeah, well, that's really kind of cool. Well, Matt, the so, dark he said, so he said, the Matt's dark seen returns. everything. Have you seen it called like <laughs> Eracehead? Really, Eracehead? Eracehead? No, David Lynch's movie. Did you watch that? Um, He had it up and I assumed you had seen it or something. I thought yesterday. Yeah, we talked about that yesterday. What? What's going on in the universe this week? Well, he had it on like the opening scene. I was like, what the fuck is is this? It's a crazy movie. But yeah. I kind of want to watch it. It's about it's, like a deformed baby. Yes. Okay. It's extremely weird. Is it like... You should see Mulholland Drive. I think that is a little too bit Too many more movies for me. I need to calm down. Yeah, one at a time. One at a time here. David Lynch. But I think she needs to start with Mulholland Drive before... No, let her watch it. his first movie. Okay. I just it's see crazy. Saw. <laughs> oh, God. Saw comes out tomorrow. I'm going to Saw's screening tonight. Have you seen A Haunting in Venice? No. Let's Did read an Am I Yeah, let's do an Am I Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. I just got back from a friend's wedding in Mexico. It was a fancy, all-inclusive event. Everyone mostly did their own thing with only a few other events planned other than the wedding and the reception, obviously. One of the group activities was a dinner out at one of the restaurants that required a reservation. It was a it was beautiful, and the service was fantastic. One hiccup. The best man did not want potatoes. <laughs> He oh, wasn't allergic. Potatoes did not take out his parents in a dark alley, and he wasn't sworn to avenge them, as far as I know, anyways. I speak Spanish, and after he asked me, I asked the waiter to please not serve him potatoes. Well, you know where this is going. He was maliciously served potatoes, and he would not shut up about it. He pointed out to everyone at our table that he had been served a starchy tuber against his will. <laughs> Other tables were watching him and listening to him getting upset about the potatoes. He ate the rest of his meal, but would not drop the potatoes. I couldn't take it anymore. I reached over and grabbed the potatoes with my hand and put them on my plate, and then I ate them. He sat there stunned. He then got up and went to his suite. He avoided me the rest of the time there, but he made sure to tell everyone what an asshole I was and how unladylike my behavior was. Oh. I just wanted him to shut the fuck up about the potatoes. What the my hell? My friend wants me to apologize for causing drama. No, no. first of all, like, stupid. If you don't like potatoes, red flag. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Immediate, you're just an asshole for not liking potatoes. Tomatoes, different story. Yes, agreed. Tomatoes are weird. I think potatoes are fucking great. And I also don't understand the concept of being so pissed off that it's on your plate. Yeah, this is huh? it's, in these. This is a truth. I feel like I see so much often in the world are people who like <laughs> they love being upset about something, oh, and they yes. thrive off the energy about being upset about something. They'll then go around and find people to agree with them about being upset about the thing. My but it's, like, it's a potato. Find yeah. a fucking solution. Move it's not on. Like, it's not a tomato where it's going to leak onto yeah. the other things. Like, it's a potato. It's yeah. crazy. That's so stupid. Uh. I think that it's... Well, what kind of potato did she say? Because um, I'm just picturing her. Like, if it's a mashed potato. <laughs> I bet. I'm thinking, like, the Screaming fancy up. kind of sliced yeah. potatoes. Medallions almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Medallions. Medallions. Ooh, a Yukon. A russet, an Andrea russet potato. Wow. Um, I think she's a queen. Did you say an Andrea russet potato? <laughs> There's the russet potato, so every time I think of russet potatoes, I think of Andrea <laughs> oh. russet. Oh, shout out to this Andrea. This one is just like unhinged. Uh, do Ooh. I read the unhinged one that's no. obvious or the like? No, let's go crazy. Okay, it's just kind of funny. Come on, nose it. People are supposed to be working right now. Let's slow them for a loop. Am I the asshole for how I conducted myself at the drive-thru? I went through the Starbucks drive-thru. The guy on the speaker said, hi, how are you? I went straight into my order without even thinking about it. He then interrupts me and says, hi, how are you? Oh, oh, no. I say it back. Passive, aggressive. And he says, see, this is how humans talk. <gasps> now, what can I get oh for God. you? <laughs> now, what can I get for you? I put in my order, then drive up to the window. He says... 
I know you're probably not happy with how we talked at the speaker, but I was trying to get you to be present and treat me as a human. Irritated. <laughs> this person is sick of Starbucks. People. I told yeah. yeah, I told him flat out, I don't know you. I'm not here to have a fucking conversation with <gasps> you. I'm here to get my coffee and go. I'm sorry if what I did offended you, but you could at least be more professional than this. We went back and forth angrily, and he eventually said, Go fuck yourself. Let me get your coffee. <laughs> oh my god, he's he gives fired me now. the coffee. He we go back and forth a bit more, saying the same shit i called him fragile he said he doesn't give a fuck about me at the end of the day then i drove off am i the asshole oh yeah i could have at least at the very least humored his hi how are you but i know i'm not a uniquely rude person for getting straight to my order i've worked at the drive through and that shit happens all the time i've never seen anyone take it so personally as much as this guy um and that's basically it yeah uh, uh, well i think he's not a very good starbucks employee yeah oh. that's crazy Oh, the yeah, Starbucks employee. I think yeah. that like I understand how fucking annoying it probably is. All these people who are rude or just don't say anything back or just like yeah. cold bro without milk and just uh, go through. Yeah, totally. Agreed. But like it's not your job to be like, um, hello, uh, say hello back. Like if it was his own no. private business, his own coffee sure, shop, I'm it. like, yeah. okay, he can make those risks. He can run yeah. his own etiquette that he expects from his customers. Okay, but buddy, you're working for Starbucks here. Yeah, like you gotta be nice. Yeah. But and that then, woman at the same time, I, I'm a big when someone says hi, how are you? I gotta make yeah. sure that I'm saying I'm great, how like, are I'm you? So, I'm good. Like, how are you totally. doing? And yeah, they probably, but if you don't I feel like they like hate that because like, I don't really want to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how you doing? Oh uh, yeah, let me get two. Like, yeah. okay, it's perfectly fine. I think I so too. But I also think they both handled it terribly at the end of no, the day. It's kind of an but, everyone sucks here, in my yeah. opinion. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah like, like okay. I would have gone and been like, "Sorry, it's early. Yeah. My coffee." Like to get so mad about it. It's also like, yeah, like they're both just giving like Ron Swanson. Like, yeah, I don't need to talk. Give let's my like, let, let's visualize this. Okay. okay, you're getting your coffee in the morning. You haven't had your coffee. You drive up to the window. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. How are you? I'm good. No, no, you don't say I'm good. You just go. I know, but welcome okay. to Starbucks. Oh, when it's audio, that's what I it don't is. usually go. I go. I'm doing fantastic. It was a drive-through. That's how they do it. No. Yeah, Wait, it's like that. It's audio. audio. I usually don't do the hi, how are you when it's done oh, over the But that's the what I'm saying. Someone on the speaker just goes, hey, face how are you? Face. And you go, yeah, can I get two milk lattes with uh, whatever? And I then the guy goes, fine. I said, how are that's you? No, I, I, I do. do you, how do you crazy. respond? Do you go, oh my God, I'm so, I would be like, huh? Yeah, can I get two? St like, I would just like repeat my order. Especially because I feel like most people go through their drive through You're not trying to be rude by being like, I'm good, how are you? It's like, they're, I try they're to not be as even thinking. As possible. They're just like, um. But it's just like, how are they supposed to greet you? I yeah. think when you're doing yes. a drive through you want to be as a, you don't want to sit there, hey, I'm good, how are you doing today? There's a line of people behind you. Like, I know, you, I literally do that though. What? <laughs> to the chase. If they ask yeah. me how I am, I'm like, I'm good. How are you? Like, I if ask I'm ever, them back. No. Are you pretty mindful, though, of, like, everyone else behind you, though? Not, I guess, in a drive through Yeah, but I'm not sitting there, like, telling them my Q, life story. Any type of cue in general, I'm always thinking about how many people are yeah. behind me. And like, if doing we're ordering a, a lot, I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of people behind yeah. uh, The worst is when the person, like, in the seat next to you or behind you is like, what do I want? And oh, you've already yeah. put your order uh, in and there's, like, like people you. behind you. Wait, do you guys have chicken nuggets here? No, this is a Starbucks. <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to say I'm an impatient person, but like sometimes when I'm in lines and there's someone who's up there, if they're an elderly person, I get it. Life, the world's just at a slower pace. But just like I'll, I'll get really like, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, but like, I don't, well, I don't say that? anything. But I'll just be like. I'll just be watching this person I, so way. slowly, like, what? not realizing that there's a line of like seven people yeah. behind you. But One, I would say 100% of the times I go to get a salad, the person in front of me has never had a salad in their life. Where are you getting salad? So, you so how, does, how does this work? Oh, you can make your own bowl. Oh, you, like, Judy, you can make your own bowl. Like, who are who are these people? Yeah. That have never sounds been, like an old woman. <laughs> or to be like a middle-aged person or just like, I don't know, like a mother and her daughter. And they're just like... Yeah. They just don't know how a salad place. It's 2023. The worst place is picking up a prescription. I don't know oh. about anybody else, but if someone's in front of you, they will be arguing with the pharmacist. Yes. <laughs> they will be on the phone like, I thought it's you said it was 40 count. But oh the thing, my God. It, I swear to God, every single time, if there's someone there, I just walk away and I'm like, I'll get it later. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, I don't want to deal with this right now. It's so annoying. It I don't also know if anyone takes... else experiences that, but I feel like almost you, every time. What I also hate about pharmacies, though, is that they say what your medication is, like out loud. Oh, oh mine, mine does not. Oh. They're not supposed to. So, the dude, I 
it's happened like a handful of times. Gonorrhea like time. pills, Mad <laughs> yes. King. It'll Penis be like that. And I'm just like, oh, King, this is no. no one's business what drug I'm picking yeah, up right going. now. Kaiser. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Yeah, they Maybe don't do go that. to a real pharmacy, yeah. bud. <laughs> go to, go to an American. Kaiser. I do like Kaiser, though. Mm, I but... think you're gaslit. You're fucking well, Stockholm Syndrome. Well, if you have surgery syndrome. by them, and he's fine, so I'll mm-hmm. give him that. As far as we know. Maybe so there's some, some you know, paper in there. They left a scissor in there. <laughs> a whole scissor. Um, yeah, I think they both suck. Yeah. <sighs> What's wrong? What's wrong, Mike? I just, I'm just like, I don't... I... What? I think that the person who's who's like, I said, how are you? No, I think they suck. But then I think that the way the guy handled yes. it was then also. also kind of asshole. He'd be like, I don't fucking need to talk to you. And it's like, OK, just be like, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, you don't have to I, yeah. be an asshole back. No, that's never the clearly answer. This guy was like having a day. The I would probably be like, oh, sorry. I'm good. Yes. How are you? Can I do this? And then I'd be like, that was kind of weird. Yeah. Thank I wouldn't you. get to the window and then like also add fuel to the fire. Yeah. <sighs> I would be but like. Also, I'd be really fucking annoyed. I'd be like scared to eat my food too. If like there's someone with like a little bit of snark behind oh. the thing, like did but they? I'm spit? gonna get your fucking coffee, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what he said. He yeah, was that's like, scary. Did they spit in your thing or use the wrong ingredients? Probably. Or... Mm. They're lucky it was a man and not a K A R E N. Yeah, because then the manager would have been involved. Did we just spell out the word Karen? <laughs> yeah, like you can't the, say it online like a, anymore. For, really? It's, it's ableist. Flag. No way. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's ableist. It's okay. Oh, okay. I have to be so bad. Me too. I I like it. You have to pee. Yeah. Go so pee. Bad. Go, go pee. pee. Go pee. Go pee. But how well, much it's longer? One seven. I know. I feel like we could do like one more. Okay. Yeah. Right. I can. All hold. right. Um, I have one. Um, okay. On phone. Okay. Am I the asshole for saying not again and not being happy for my daughter's pregnancy? Not again. Oh, we are on all phone. the same one. On phone. My daughter got pregnant the second year into college. It was not a good time. My husband and I stepped up so she could finish college, which she did. She just graduated and got a job. The problem is, at the moment, she cannot afford childcare or rent since her job kind of sucks. We were hoping that she would uh, be moving out by the end of the year. She told us today that she is pregnant again. When she told us, I said, not again. (laughs) She asked if I was happy for her, and I told her no, uh, that we will not look after another kid, and we already wanted her to find her own place by the end of the year or next summer at the latest. She is pissed at us, and we got into an argument. She thinks we are assholes. No. I don't think no. they are. At the end of the day, it's not their responsibility to watch her children. Yeah. Yeah. And I think saying not again, it's like kind of fits. It's not like she's married and, you know, they've had a good life and she's like, I'm pregnant. And they're it's like, like, not they, again. Because she knows that they'll bear the burden of yeah. taking care of another kid. She sounds extremely immature and irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. I would pay to take her to a clinic and then I'd be like, Tie him up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, the only financial support I will give you is. It's not a bad abortion. idea. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. It's like if she can't afford it, if she's I know working at a job, she can't. Yeah. I, and I'm assuming this is two different guys also. I don't know. Who knows? Probably. I, yeah, it sounded like the relationship was not even in the picture. Yeah. Or like her being in a relationship. Yeah. No, it sounds like just like picture. a night out. A night out. I mean, it's it's kind of it's just like a harsh truth. Yeah. It's like you're not ready for another one if you can't even take yeah. care of the first one and you yeah. don't have maybe if it. it was like I think she could have like maybe phrased the change the phrase oh not again mm, no oh. that's a very valid phrase okay sure I, I mean I think so me well too. this isn't good same thing it's just like are you serious just could you come up with me to the top of the stairs for a minute <laughs> oh, stop. oh hey you got any old hangers in that closet <laughs> stop whoa <laughs> Here, drink this uh, little drink I made for you. It's just it's giving writing in cards with boys. Here, let me just whoosh, whip it out of you. <laughs> All right, on that note, is that uh, like Drew Barrymore? Movie? I feel like, yeah, I feel like maybe she's really? like a not again. Is that movie about abortion? No, she she's gets pregnant. pregnant. Oh it's, yes, it's a really good movie. I don't remember. You've never seen. Um, Add it to the letterbox. I feel like I've seen like the beginning of it. Have you like, seen yeah. Revolutionary it was Road? On TV. Uh, you know what? No, <laughs> not in full. I've never seen Revolutionary Road. Matt, Kate Winslet, Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. and Michael Shannon and oh, Kathy Bates. The Titanic too. <laughs> I know it's it's one of my favorite movies. You have wow. to see it. It's really dark and sad, but it's amazing. I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. 
Awala, get back to us, please. Please, oh, Awala, yeah. please. Circle uh, back. Even though I don't think they're watching our podcast, I think they just saw the TikTok. Because well, that TikTok did pop let's off. Let's clip it. Okay. And post it on TikTok. I'll just send it to begging them. Begging and pleading. I'll send Awala. it to them. Yeah. <laughs> Here, please. Well, someone tagged me on Instagram. They like sent me Awala's story, but I didn't see it until I didn't the day see it later. Either. I saw that too. Oh, weird. And then I was like, maybe they reposted it or something. They probably did, yeah. Maybe we. Miss Slide into their DMs on IG. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. That's Here smart. Should we do from good influences or from like one all of us? four? Yeah, all five. we should all message them <laughs> right now. Let's do it at lunch. We're all like, hello. Send. Oh, all we're coming for you. <laughs> coming for you. All well, right. should, we should also see who they're following that we know and then tell those people to DM them I to smile. say, you can you look out for their <laughs> inbox? Yeah. I do that all the we're time. So we're like, okay, wait, what do you do? Like if there's so, like a brand I'm trying to get in contact with, but then I see that they follow a yeah. friend of mine, I'll ask that friend a good idea. to tell them, go, just tell them that I DM them. Yeah. And then usually it works like Take that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, let us know who you think the assholes were in these stories and <laughs> they follow you, us. They, good they follow good influences. Oh, message oh. them. Oh my God. Message them. I don't have the login. Oh, wait, he's I'll do so it. I'll happy. Message them. I'll give it to you at lunch. They follow them. us. Uh, we are average them. fashion blogger and uh, my friend Sean Holiday. Can I go pee, please? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay bye. Okay. See you guys bye. next week. Bye.